I don't own any software companies. I do not have any affiliate links for any softwares in my description. So you guys know that when I tell you a software is good, it's because it's really good. I have nothing to gain from telling you that it's good. Moreover, we are not like the other guys sucking dick. Oh, I'm sorry. Networking, networking by sucking everybody's dick to build the biggest audience I can. I'm not doing that. You know that I'm not like the other guys. If something is trash, I will tell you it's trash because I've done it in the past. I've been super critical of softwares, of some softwares, and I have a few videos coming on softwares that I think are trash. But today I wanted to talk about Tactical Expander because I've talked about it a little bit and a lot of you guys are actually interested in pretty much seeing how it works. So today we are going to review that. But before we start, we have a Discord server. I'm always over there hanging out. We had a quick live call yesterday where we did a challenge where I tried to find profitable leads by starting from a trash product. Um, we're going to do that more in the future. Maybe some of you guys could play and we're going to have a little broad, some stuff like that. We're doing some fun stuff and it's just a great place to hang out with other sellers. So, um, and just ask any questions if you have any questions. So, uh, yeah, check out the link in the description. First link, join the discord and yeah, that's it. So tactical expander. Um, so here it is basically what tactical expander is. And, um, yeah, it's, it's this, it's a basically a Chrome extension that works on your browser right so what it will allow you to do is scan more websites add websites scan websites that are not on tactical arbitrage this is the main thing that it does um so we're gonna look at this first but what it also helps you do is actually run some reverse searches uh, on tactical arbitrage way more efficiently than if you were to do it just with tactical arbitrage the regular way right so Here's a list of the website that you can scan um, with Tactical Expander. I know a lot of you guys are in the UK, so um, yeah, it works also in the UK. It works in USA, UK, Spain. There's websites for a lot of uh, marketplace. Uh, if you guys want to look at what websites are available for the UK, here it is. Uh, so you guys in the UK, because I know that for you, Tactical Arbitrage is trash. But today we are going to talk about, you know, I'm going to show you how it works with the US market. Uh, just because this is where our source and I don't know the UK market works, but it works the same way, right? So, um, yeah, basically how it works is I'm going to show you basically how it works on Foot Locker because Foot Locker is one of the websites that you can actually source with Tactical Expander that you cannot do with Tactical Arbitrage. So what you would do is just click right here to open, just click on the extension to open it and it will bring the link. So when you click on run, it's going to basically scrape the website directly in your browser. So you're going to see how it works right now. Um, here we go. And you need to leave the window open and stuff. So you can still work on your computer while it's running. Uh, if your computer is pretty slow, like it will slow down your computer on some websites, for example, Target, because on Target, it must open or like it must open a new tab for every single product, so it's pretty slow. But here you can see that it's pretty fast. We already had 144 results, and I'm just gonna stop it. Um, let's go back to Foot Locker. So, as you can see right there, it like scraped a lot of products. So, what are you gonna do with this? You're just gonna click on export to TA, and you can just you can export to CSV if you want to. Um, I never really do that. So, you just export it to TA. And what's going to happen is that when you go to tactical arbitrage, you click here, you're going to have this new thing that you do not have on your, um, when you have the regular subscription, when you don't have tactical expander, you're going to turn that on and you can see that you can select the, um, you can select some scan that you did with tactical expander, right? So I'm, I can select that foot locker scan and like add every price adjustment that, you know, I can find, but there are some gift cards and stuff. Um, this is not the price adjustment for foot locker, but like, let's say it is, and you just run your search, right? And it's going to look through the product just as if it was a regular tactical arbitrage search, except that, um, as you can see, it's running right now, except that it's, you know, it, it, there's a ton of products, there's a ton of, I'm sorry, a ton of websites that you can use that are not originally on tactical arbitrage, right? Let me stop that search. I do not want to use minutes for that. So let's look quickly at what websites are available. And I'm going to show you a few other strategies, a few other ways that you can actually use Tactical Expander, right? So let's look at it right there quickly in the, at the stores. And 
just for the US, there's 346 stores. And like there's stuff like Acer, if I remember correctly, that I've, there's so many stuff, that, so many websites. A lot of them I haven't even checked. Uh, and I've been using Tactical Expander for a long time. So um, a lot of options, it gives you a lot of options. And most people do not scan those websites. So as I said, I do have Tactical Expander myself and I haven't checked all the websites, right? So um, it gives you an edge on the competition. Another great way to use it is that if you use tactical expand, uh, if you use tactical arbitrage, you know that sometimes tactical arbitrage is acting up and it stops working on some websites for one, two days, even sometimes for more than that. If it stops working on, for, for, on a website for one day, two days, let's say it stopped working on Sephora. Right, I believe Sephora is here. Let me check. Uh, yeah, Sephora is there. So it, it can happen that tactical arbitrage stop working on Sephora for like one day, two days, and nobody can scan it. It's a great way to actually come and scan the sales with Tactical Expander because not a lot of people are going to do it. And I've done this in the past for a couple of websites and you find leads that people are not going to find because you, they cannot scan the website even if they, you know, even if, it, if it's a website that people usually scan. So this is a great way that you can take advantage of having Tactical Expander. It's a great tool in that regards because it, like the competition that you're going to face is going to be not as big as if you were to scan regular tactical arbitrage um, website. You're gonna make, you're, you're still gonna make a lot of money on tactical arbitrage. There's websites that I scan on tactical arbitrage that I have replenishable leads on. Um, you, you just need to scan everything and figure out pretty much, um, you know, the best stores on tactical arbitrage. And people do not, there's a lot of stores that people do not scan on tactical arbitrage. Just try them all out. I haven't tried them all out myself, but um, yeah, definitely try them all out. Um, I want to show you another thing that you can do with Tactical Expander, and it's going to be the reverse searches. So on Tactical Arbitrage, you can actually scan a storefront, right, to actually um, do some automatic like software reverse, reverse sourcing, storefront stalking to find products that are on, you know, other people's storefronts, right? So all it works is, um, and let me find the right, the right one. Um, yeah. As you can see, no, this is not here. Um, let me see. It's somewhere here. Let me find it. Let me find it right there. So if you if you click that drop down menu and you, what you can do is search seller products. And what you would do is add the seller ID of the person. So the seller ID is that little code. So for example, can you see that? Yeah, it would be that little code right there that you know, like basically it's the idea of this seller right here, right? And so you can add this to tactical arbitrage um, right here to run a reverse search of that seller. The only thing is that if you do it that way with tactical arbitrage, you can only do it six times, six times with six search for, you know, every 24 hour period. So every, every four hours, you're going to get a new search, right? So it's pretty hard to do it that way. And then you're going to have a lot of search. So there's more... You can do it in a more, um, how to say that, in a more, in an easier way with Tactical Expander. What you can do is, you can actually use Tactical Expander on Amazon.com. You can use it to scan bestseller and stuff. Um, do not do it. It's trash. It's not the best way to do it. Just do it with Keepa. Ke uh, just do it with Keepa. Export the Keepa search. It's an easiest way. But what you can do with Tactical Expander is, let's say I want to... Um, I want to scan those three, and you can do more than three, but let me use three as an example. Those three storefronts that I found on this listing, right? On this listing, there's a few sellers. I could do all the sellers if I wanted to, but I'm going to show you with three. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open Tactile Expander. Here we go. And what I'm going to do is let me just put this on the side. I know you guys are not going to be able to see this, but I'm just going to copy and paste right there. I'm going to copy and paste the, 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 the URL of those seller storefronts, right? So I'm going to copy and paste this here. Here, and let's copy the last one. Here. Here we go. And I can run a search. Uh, it will scrape, basically what we do is it will scrape all the ASINs from those seller one by one. So um, let me show you quickly how, the, uh, how it works. So you just click here and see it's going to start scraping those 
um, those 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 storefronts, right, and get all them ASINs. And then what you can do is export this to TA and just run the search, or you can just export the CSV. And what you would do is let me go back here. You would go to import bulk product code, and you upload new file, new file, and you can like basically um, just run a reverse search from there. It's way easier. It's way better. Way better way to do it than just the six regulars, like because you can like do fifty stores at a time, and it's gonna be like way like it's it's gonna be way faster, guys. So this is how you use tactical expander this is how i use it every day in my business i pretty much gave you all the ways that i use it this is the only way i use it um yeah i do not really scan like the bestseller list and stuff it's trash no way like no need to do that if i if i if i were to do that i would just go to the keeper product finder use async gadget and export a new video coming on async gadget soon as well and export all the products from there uh, from keeper from the keeper product finder by using some filters because it will be way better um, yeah, so guys, that was today's video. I release a new video every day at 3 p.m. I hope you guys liked this one. I hope you guys like my honesty when it comes to, you know, reviewing softwares and stuff. So yeah, that was today's video. Thank you for watching. Check out these other videos. By the way, I release a new video every single day. So I have a lot of videos that you can look if you want to, you know, improve and actually learn how to make money on Amazon. And yeah, guys, I'll see you tomorrow for a new video. As I say, new video every single day at 3 p.m. EST.